Hi, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what is the potential of your current romantic connection. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 4th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 7... 7.20 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What is the potential of their current romantic connection? Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so this is you. But who knows, roles can be reversed uh, between you and your person. So Queen of Swords, somebody, when I say somebody, that means we, you are your person, okay? Queen of Swords is somebody who is going to say, okay, here are my boundaries, right? We cannot cross it. So you may... You may say something potentially to your person, or maybe you've already said it, in regards to what you expect, what what you expect from this connection. Six of Swords. Maybe some of you, um, potentially, both of you will travel together. Nine of Cups, and then we've got the Moon here, and the Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands. A very guarded, um, guarded energy that I have, that I'm seeing here, defensive as well. I guess this has something to do with someone not wanting to get hurt. Um, so three of pentacles, potentially both of you will talk about um, how to compromise, how to meet in the middle, how to fix things if there are some things that are broken or if there are some issues within this connection. We've got these six of wands here as well. A bit of a controlling energy I'm sensing right here. Potentially, this connection could turn into where someone is going to say, just an example, six of wands, it's like you cannot keep your options open or cannot do what you used to do. You know, it could be you or your person. Someone is going to say some things, lay some rules out, right? Um, example, if you go out, you have to be home by a certain time, 12. Or if you go out, you cannot talk to other girls, other guys. Or if you go out, you cannot dress a certain way i'm just giving examples i'm just giving it like examples or like certain friends you don't like you can't you cannot go out with these friends these people because they're bad influence it could be anything but there is this energy because somebody is somebody feels it's going to be afraid like okay i just need to protect myself so i'm gonna lay these rules down um and my person has to compromise with me. If not, I will walk. If not, I'll be better off just alone, be single. That's what I'm seeing here. So, hmm. the moon here indicates anything can happen, right? It's not, the future is not certain. The future is not promised. And the death here is in reverse. So that means there will be initially some comp like initially both of you will try to compromise but after a while someone is going to wonder would i be better off just being single um is this connection gonna work out um can we actually you know be peaceful in this connection can this connection ever be peaceful will i be able to fully commit or oh, it's not just about commitment it's like will i be able to do what my partner asks me to do you know it could be because it could be commitment if it's not commitment it's something about you know just having boundaries and wanting the other person to respect it or to do what they say they want this person to do because again the queen of swords 
Someone is gonna give an ultimatum or say, you either do it or you, or I'm, I'm gone, right? Hmm. So whether this connection is gonna last or not, it's still kind of hanging in the air right now. I'm sensing because the death in reverse, it could potentially end, but it could potentially also transform into a connection that could be your wish fulfillment. But right next to it, Nine of Cups and the Moon here, you know, right next to the Nine of Cups is the Moon. So it does look like it's still not certain. Because it really see, you know, Three of Pentacles, it really depends on how, if both of you can really, really work as a team. Because I also see potentially someone is going to uh, question if I could do this, if I could give all these things that air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius ask of me, okay? That's five of swords here. Um, let's see more. If someone eventually thinks that, you know, I think I should be selfish, then someone is going to walk away, okay? But there is a chance for the pinnacles for both of you to work things out. I definitely see that. Someone may want to work things out, but then also there's a, this energy where someone is going to be, but maybe I want to do whatever I want. Maybe I don't want to be controlled, right? Queen of Swords here with the Five of Swords, Seven of Cups. There will always be this constant mind games uh, playing, okay? Some of you, somebody, you or this person will try to play mind games, try to outsmart the other. And constantly making someone here, Seven of Cups, question what are they doing um, are they obeying our rules my rules so hmm. final thoughts look kind of cheeky to me right now it feels like you know someone may act like a kid too as in the more you tell me I can't do something, the more I feel like I want to do it. So there is going to be, again, an ultimatum with the Eight of Cups here. I will walk, you know, this energy. Like, I will walk if you do this and that, or if you don't do this and that. The Tower, the Five of Cups. I feel like the future of this connection, the potential of this connection is really uncertain being the moon sitting in your future position. Someone is going to question, okay? I talk about this all the time. I hope, um, I don't know why people always think like a prediction, the tarot prediction is like forever. It's not forever. It's not set in stone. Uh, things can change because we all have free will. And usually when I do personal read readings, I give, um, the, the prediction is within one year, okay? It's not more than that because after, after one year, things can, can change. Even within one year, things can change. Um, right now at this moment, that's what I'm seeing here, that there will be a lot of questions surrounding, can I commit, can I give this person what he or she expects of me? Can this connection work out through your pentacles? Will both of us be able to compromise? Will I get hurt? Would it be better off if I am single or not? You know? So potentially, it could, you know, the tower and the seven of cups here, someone might just feel like, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to break free from this. I'm going to end this. Eight of cups, I'm going to walk away from this because... You're disappointing me right now with the Five of Cups. But Will Fortune here is in reverse. So this cycle is going to go on and on and on for a while until someone just thinks that 
I don't think I can take this anymore. So my suggestion would be, if you want this connection to continue to sustain, or if you want a reconciliation, Three of Pentacles, there needs to be a talk. There needs to be just being able to compromise. It's like you can't go like, I'm not sure if this is you or the, your person. You can't go like, it's my way or highway. So something that needs to be discussed here between two of you. I'm not saying that it could end. It could end. I'm not saying that it's definitely going to end. Somebody maybe has ended and you want to reconcile. But if not, if it hasn't ended yet, there is a chance that it could end if both of you don't. Again, me in the middle, don't compromise. Someone might just feel like I've had it with the tower here. I'm done. Um, and the way things end would be very ugly. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. All right, Gemini, the Grand Aquarius. This is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Um, and also, I do live stream these days. I'm a little bit afraid to do live, to go live um, yesterday and today because the internet has been on and off in and out so I don't want you know just in case if anything happens to the, to the internet then we're gonna get stuck <laughs> during life but um, yeah I don't plan exactly when I will go live so make sure you hit on the bell notification button take care bye